Tiffany is a fifth grade student at Jefferson Elementary in Reedley, a town of around 25,000 people about 30 minutes outside of Fresno. He's made a name for himself as the school's top pilot on a new flight simulator located in the school library. I've actually never been in an airplane. I would like to go visit Spain because it's really big and I think it's really cool. Like I've seen pictures and videos of like YouTubers go there and I just really think it would be a really nice place to visit. Most of Anthony's classmates have never been on an airplane either. Many haven't traveled outside of the Central Valley. Reedley is actually known as the world's fruit basket. By virtue of that, a lot of our students' parents work in the agricultural industry. So everything from um, laboring in the field all the way through um, owning packing sheds and anywhere in between. So when you think Reedley, when you think Central Valley, you often do think fruit and agriculture. We're the world's fruit basket. What people don't really know about is we have a rich aviation history in the Central Valley that dates all the way back to World War II. When Nicole Zeba became Reedley's city manager in 2011, the city had a 33% unemployment rate. By 2018, that number dropped to 12%, but it was still three times the national average. In an effort to lessen the reliance on agriculture, Reedley looked towards the past and decided to invest in aviation. Through grant funding, they purchased four all-electric airplanes. The goal, to offer low-cost pilot training. Boeing? the world's largest aerospace company, took notice. Boeing became aware of the city of Reedley and their interest in aviation through their electric aircraft program. And as a result of the discussions in that project, this idea of bringing the gamification of simulators to the elementary and the middle school you know, was born. Jefferson is the first school in the nation to be part of Boeing's effort to encourage more young people to choose careers in aviation. Boeing publishes what we call the Pilot and Technician Outlook, and that forecast of labor needs over the next 20 years expects that we need 804,000 new pilots and close to 800,000 new aircraft maintainers globally over the next 20 years. The studies, the research, the surveys we've done shows that the majority of people that are active and excited in training or in their careers first had their exposure to aviation in their formative years, you know, ages 8 to 11. When a student sits in the flight simulator seat, they're actually sitting in what feels like a pilot's chair. They're actually holding onto a yoke that feels like that of what a pilot would hold onto. They see dials, they see all sorts of different measurements um, that you would see in a cockpit. The simulator not only allows students to change the type of aircraft they're flying, it also allows to change what type of weather they're flying in. So once they are able to master flight, they can start working on um, how do you fly if it's foggy? How do you fly in the rain? I really like it because I like using the controller a lot. That's one of my favorite parts of it. And I really like doing other modes on it, like there's military jets and like there's other courses. We know we're giving them an opportunity to expose them to careers that could really help change their lives. And uh, they could be pilots, they could be flight crew, they could be aviation mechanics, and we know that these are good paying jobs that eventually someday they may have the opportunity to go into. I've never seen such awesome teamwork. Where they're not fighting, they're not pushing. They weigh and they're encouraging each other, cheering each other on. They're coaching one another. If you do this, this is what it does. If you do that, this is what will happen. Like Bessie Coleman. I want to be a pilot because I, I like the view. Kaylee first got interested in aviation when she learned about Amelia Earhart in school. The fourth grader says she wants to become a pilot. This is actually really fun, and I want to like do every single day. By peaking the interest early in elementary school, once students get to Reedley High School, they can take dual enrollment classes at Reedley College, earning high school and college credit simultaneously. Reedley College, established in 1926, is best known for its agriculture programs, but students can also earn an associate's degree in flight science or aviation maintenance technology. If the current students using the flight simulator at Jefferson see the aviation pathway through, 
In just 10 years, they could be certified commercial pilots. Right. I can see how this is going to bring a new perspective to our town. It's aviation. We're a farming community. This is a new look.